Okay, here's the three zones. Zone, I don't know where the term zone came about because people don't think of themselves as living in the zone. Well, maybe you do. Um, so Phoenix is down here. And as you drive up, you pass through all these beautiful grasslands. And Black Canyon City is kind of the furthest southern area. Um, and then uh, Cordy's Junction, which is where Arco Santi is, where Mary comes from. That's a futuristic city, right? If you don't know about that. Um, <laughs> and then um, there's obviously Prescott. Mingus Mountain is in here, Jerome and the Verde River, and the Verde Valley, and then this whole area, which is the Prescott Chino area. There's things, communities on there like Baghdad, and um, Congress. There's some little communities that are were hard to engage, and so they really, some of those outlying communities, there are communities of the Pre related to the Prescott National Forest, but they have their own social thing, and they have not been very involved. I do. Just to let you know. Um, and then Flagstaff up there. Next. So we did these meetings, two or three meetings per zone. Mm -hmm. um, we were really, we had an overview presentation about, that was what the rec planner from in Integrated Resources did. What is this thing called recreation? And getting people talking about um, what kind of recreation they do and then really getting a handle on what people view as their concerns and their desires related to recreation. So kind of like scoping. We had an all employees meeting. Who was there? 25 people came. It was only a fraction of the employees, but we gave them a chance to weigh in. Same exact same format as the community meetings. We had a youth meeting. This is the youth meeting over uh, this one. It was actually with the YCC crew because <laughs> they were a captive audience. So there, they were like high schoolers that were on top of Mingus Mountain. And it was interesting to hear what their recreational interests are, like uh, jumping into water holes <laughs> and sitting on the car hood in a parking lot <laughs> listening to music. But they had some really cool, cool things to say too. And then agency meetings, uh, we had a sequence of agency meetings, uh, like other agencies like the BLM or Game of Fish that have a similar interest in providing good recreation opportunities. We should have had those sooner in the process, but we did have them. Next. And then we built, <clears throat> from all the input, we kind of synthesized it all and we shared it back we agreed on a set of um, criteria to, which might be coming next, to prioritize the strategies. And then um, we went back to the agencies to say, um, who wants to be involved in what? And who wants to help lead things? Next. So we prioritized the strategies with these criteria. It was an identified need by the community that would solve a problem that they viewed as a problem or, or some desired future. That there was enough energy to focus on it and it would further the goal of sustainable water creation. And then the fourth one, which wasn't asked of all the partners, but was an, obviously something that each agency had to think about was their, their own feasibility of, of working on that and their own capacity. So essentially those are the four basic criteria that was used to prioritize the strategy. Next. This, this is our little diagram of, kind of the idea of aligning shared leadership. So, and then we, we had this idea of having everybody together as one big happy coalition. <laughs> um, but that everybody, that there's one big strategy, one big collaborative plan, but, but that every in individual organization or agency has to then have their own tiered off plan about what they're going to do. Next. So at the time, in 2011, these were the main um, uh, strategies, what we call the strategies. This is a synopsis, so it's not, there's no verbs in there. But like working on the trail master planning in the Verde, 
and in blue are the uh, co-conveners, the, the, the groups that stepped up to the plate to say, we'll help lead this, we'll convene these meetings. And um, so you can just see the list. Some new ones have emerged since then. And um, in your document with the staple, the plan, the, there's a, this is all in there. Um, next. And then we develop themes. So we, for example, Prescott, trails. People want to work on collaborative trail planning. So stewardship forum said we'll convene it. So then we got together with the Forest Service and the county and the city and talked about what is this process, who needs to be involved, what are we going to do, why are we doing it, and then got going on that. And they're in these all these parallel efforts with their own collaborative teams and le leaders and participants have been moving their respective balls forward. That's what's been happening for the past couple of years. Um, and this is the first time we're all coming back together to kind of share what everybody's doing. So ongoing coordination, action planning, implementation, monitoring. We, we had this area-wide coordinating committee when we were um, really in the thick of recreation strategy, you know, sustainable recreation planning. And we haven't actually had to convene that group for a while because there wasn't this big need to coordinate everybody together. A lot of the action was the more on the ground stuff. Raise your hand if you're on the coordinating team. Mary? Dave. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. So that's an indicator. That's how long it's been. My memory is short term. Right? <laughs> okay, next. All right, here's the little diagram. You've got this on your handout. This is just to show you, these are the three zones. We have this coordinating team in the middle. We keep saying, oh, we, should, we need to get the coordinating team back together. But everybody's been so busy with all these much more interesting on the ground planning projects. Um, so this just tells you the Verde side, there's a trails effort, this geotourism effort, string of pearls. Youth. We'll, we're going to explain that in the presentations. Um, and what's going on on the other side. The triangles are these uh, multi-interest, multi-topic, um, but place-based group. The Verde Front, the Upper Oakery Watership Partnership, and the Stewardship Forum. The, major the most of the work and the time is in these circles because that's where the action is, that's where people are getting things done. And that's how it should be. So, um, Next, we oh, we were going to hand this out. We communication is always a challenge to keep everybody in the loop on what's going on and how things are connected. We produce this lovely um, two-sided one pager about the coalition. One of the partners that came up with the logo, and but we have yet to produce a second issue. I think that's the fate of a lot of these bulletins, but. Um, we might bring some copies for those of you interested, because it does kind of give a nice little overview. And it's recommended. I mean, if you can do this, that's great. But um, there wasn't enough, you know, we didn't form a communications team to just work on this kind of stuff, which we, you know, could be part of the future. Next. But that's not to say that work isn't going on amongst each zone in a sense to, to provide a... Yeah, for example, now. yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. Like, and Gail will talk about it, but the String of Pearls effort, press release after every big event, boom, it happens, people weigh in, it goes out, it's really, a, that's a lesson right there, so they'll just oh, mention it. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.